I'm Sarah Parker Polly, Director of the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. And we at the department are starting a video series called Enhancing Missouri to educate and inform Missourians about events and topics relating to our natural resources. By doing this, I hope that you will gain insight to the natural beauty throughout our great state and how the department works to protect it. Our first episode highlights Missouri State Parks topics as a tribute to Great Outdoors Month. June is nationally recognized as Great Outdoors Month and there are plenty of ways for Missourians to celebrate the great outdoors. Outdoor Days at the Capitol is a celebration held June 4th in Jefferson City that gives Missourians a chance to explore and experience a wide range of activities. Some of the activities that will be available include rock wall climbing, a bicycle pump track, a kayak pool, archery, and live birds. Be sure to join us in this free event to kick off Great Outdoors Month. Along with Outdoor Days, Governor Jay Nixon will host the Governor's Capital Campout. The Capital Campout gives 25 Missouri families an opportunity to experience a variety of outdoor activities, as well as a chance to sleep under the stars at the Jefferson City Capital Complex. Participants will get to enjoy a fish fry, camping, cooking s'mores, storytelling, and much more. Both of these events are made possible by Missouri State Parks and Bass Pro Shops in partnership with the Coleman Company and the Missouri Department of Conservation. If you are unable to join us in Jefferson City, visit one of Missouri's 88 state parks. To find a park near you, visit MostStateParks.com. Missouri's park system was officially established on April 9, 1917. With almost 100 years in the making, Missouri State Parks kicked off its 18-month-long centennial celebration earlier this year, and you are invited to join the fun by using the Centennial Passport. During each trip you make to one of Missouri's 88 state parks or historic sites, you will get a site-specific stamp in your passport. The first 1,000 participants to complete the passport will receive a Missouri State Parks Centennial Backpack. All who complete the passport will be entered in a drawing to receive one of five Missouri State Parks vacation packages. The Centennial Passport Book is available online or at any State Park gift shop for purchase. A free digital passport is available at passport.mostateparks.com. So get out, get active, enjoy all the nature Missouri has to offer. On May 8th, Roaring River State Park reopened its historic Civilian Conservation Corps Lodge. The lodge dates back to 1936 when workers from the Works Progress Administration began work. The three-story lodge took over two years to complete and is one of eight structures in the park that are on the National Register of Historic Places. The newly renovated lodge hosts seven rooms, six with one bedroom and one with two bedrooms. All include a kitchenette and a living room. While the inside has been modernized, the building still holds the rustic characteristics of its storied past. Along with trout fishing, swimming, camping, and hiking, Whirring River State Park's beautiful Ozark scenery has something for everyone to enjoy. To make your reservations, call 417-847-3742. Echo Bluff State Park is Missouri's 88th state park. Located near Eminence, Missouri, this beautiful property was originally home to a children's summer camp which provided education and an opportunity to fall in love with nature. These same concepts will be the centerpiece of Echo Bluff State Park. Sinking Creek, a tributary of the current river, etched a stunning 150-foot bluff which provided the name for the park. This location has been a prime spot for floating, fishing, and exploring. The park will include a 72-site campground, a 20-room lodge, 13 lodging units and 9 cabins, picnic and event shelters, an amphitheater with tiered seating, and miles of trails for hiking and biking. Make your reservations today by visiting MostStateParks.com. Enhancing Missouri, it's in our nature.